This is the same scripture where the Bible said that give thanks for everything. Everything you have received, give thanks. Whenever you receive something and you don't give thanks to it, you have not brought it before the Lord. Hmm. I want to draw you a bit deep. I don't want us to just be looking at the scripture. That layer, we are past that layer by the grace of God. We have to go deep. Anytime you receive a cloth, let me take it deep. I know, I know some of you say, I'm anointed. Anything I wear is already anointed. Yes, there's a dimension for that, but I'm trying to teach something here. Anytime you receive something and you don't present it before the Lord, the Lord pretend like he doesn't know if you have received it. If a door is open for you in ministry to go and minister in a place, and you didn't bring it before the Lord to tell the Lord, I remember what Daddy Aramosai said. He said one day God opened the door for him. And he was happy that God had opened international door. You know, you travel outside of Nigeria to minister. And he was so happy about it. Then he went before the Lord. He said, Em, are you aware that there is this door that you have opened? Ah, I want to thank you. The Lord said, which door? I'm not even aware. Is there a door? He said, ah. You didn't even know there is a door that was open. <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> There's how God will answer you. You like, say, eh. So he, he, with all his own meaning, knowing, he didn't know there was even a door that was even presented. Do you mean God did not know? He was aware. But because he didn't bring it before his table, he's not aware. Remember when he came to Balaam? When they spoke with Balaam? And Balaam came before the Lord. The Lord said, eh, why are these people here? Ah! If I'm Balaam, I'm like, uh -uh. which one is why? Are you not God that knows everything? That's why when you come before a prophet, a prophet will still ask you, say, eh, what do you want God to do for you? He said, ah, you're a prophet, you should know now. It doesn't work like that. It is when you begin to explain, the Lord can open your case. Because God is not a gospel, but he doesn't want to intrude. So he, he wants to allow you to have, to know if you will be honest with him. Whatever you now have and you didn't bring it before the Lord, for him, that's why when we bring speakers, when we buy things, every, you see, every of these things you see here, every object you see in this church was consecrated. Every single object. It's not that we are praying and now God consecrated, consecrated. We actually donated them to the Lord. We say, Lord, this is your property. We soak it. So if somebody comes there now and moves away with our chair, he's not stealing Emmanuel Okeke's chair. He's actually stealing God's property. Then anyone managing or walking around with God's property, maybe people handling camera, taking pictures, if anything happened to those things, it's God's property they have affected. So if they are careless with it and they damage it, I'm not the one to may the Lord sacredness. Whatever you have brought to the altar is sacred before the Lord. Oh, if anybody you can't bring a yam before the king and go back with a yam. I don't know how they say it in the Igbo age. Can someone help me? Um, I don't know. I don't know how they say it. I know for the one of father, but as how they say the one of you, uh -huh. but I'm sure you two don't know. But I know so. Eh? Uh, is that how they say it? That's how they say it. That's not how they say the adage. Uh -huh. Whatever you come with to the house of the king doesn't go home with you. That's it. That's an evil adage. So if you bring yam and king has seen the yam, you don't go home with it. You leave it for the king. You don't tempt a king. You don't go and tell him, oh, I have your money. I'm not giving you, no. If you bring the gold, the gold stays with the king. Isn't it good to be a king? That's why when you enter the presence of God, you don't go with yourself. You submit yourself. <laughs> yes, that's the offering. Whenever you come before the Lord, how do you know? When you come out, you begin to manifest a dimension that you're not aware that you have. 